Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about OPEC countries that is Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and in this session we will first see uh, details about OPEC countries and then we will discuss uh, about OPEC plus that is a, a new formation uh, we will discuss detail on that and then we will discuss about the COVID-19 impact on oil price around the globe so uh, this is how I plan this session. Let's now start. So, OPEC stands for Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. It is a permanent uh, intergovernmental organization created at the Baghdad Conference in 1960 and by Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. So it is created uh, at the Baghdad Conference. Please note that. And it aims to manage the supply of oil in an effort to set the price of oil in the world market in order to avoid fluctuations that might affect the economies uh, of both producing and purchasing countries and it is headquartered in Vienna which is in Austria and OPEC membership is open to any country that is a substantial exporter of oil and which shares the ideals of the organization and today OPEC is a cartel that includes 14 nations predominantly from the Middle East whose sole responsibility is to control prices and moderate a uh, supply of oil. So that is uh, OPEC. Now we'll discuss uh, what is OPEC plus. The non-OPEC countries which export crude oil along with the 14 OPEC countries are termed as OPEC plus countries and OPEC plus countries include Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Brunei, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Mexico, Oman, Russia, South Sudan and Sudan and Saudi Arabia and Russia both have been at the heart of this three year alliance of uh, OPEC plus and which now includes 11 OPEC members and 10 non OPEC nations that aims to shore up oil prices with production cuts <laughs> and if you see why OPEC plus came into existence uh, Russia concluded a Vienna agreement in 2016 and that time Russian leadership believed that it would help prepare the country for the Russian presidential elections in March 2018 and higher oil prices ensured the Russia's or the ruling regime's financial capacity to lead a successful electoral campaign. Uh, this has changed the regime's priorities from satisfying the need of general population to ensuring the sustainability of Russia's alliance with the powerful tycoons including that controlling oil production. So for Saudi Arabia, uh, turning what had been an ad hoc coalition into a formal group provides a protection against future oil market turbulence. For Russia, the formation of group helps expand Putin's influence in the Middle East. Uh, so these are the benefits for these two countries. However, both reportedly aimed at causing a drop in oil prices in order to hit Russia, uh, US uh, shale producers. Uh, who have continued to benefit from OPEC production cut but by expanding their market share. So uh, US shale gas is a threat or an alternative to the oil around the globe. So uh, basically OPEC plus aimed uh, to regulate the price or to keep the price higher by controlling uh, by uh, imposing production cuts but uh, however this does not uh, find any result as due to the presence of u.s uh, shale producers uh, so that is what and uh, now we'll uh, see or discuss uh, what is the impact of covid 19 outbreak on the oil price around the globe there is a substantial decline in oil demand world oil demand uh, in 2019 stood at around 99.67 million barrels a day after the global outbreak of the coronavirus, the oil demand was set to contract in 2020 for the first time since 2009 and according to International Energy Agency, uh, in the worst case scenario that is if COVID continues to spread globally and China's need for oil remains subdued, global oil demand could fall as much as by 7,30,000 barrels a day. And it, uh, its other case is that uh, for a slump in demand of around 90,000 barrels a day, assuming that a situation in China improves in the second quarter. And uh, Saudi Arabia and Russia uh, pledged to increase production. 
so when uh, when the deal for production cuts uh, fell apart saudi arabia and russia pressed to instead uh, to ramp up production so this is also going to hit the oil prices very badly so the saudi arabia announced that it would increase its uh, production from uh, 9.7 million barrels per day uh, to 12.3 million while russia planned to increase the oil production by 3 lakh barrels a day saudi arabia also announced price discounts in march 2020 so the oil market in the face of a double crisis collapsed that is what happened in the previous uh, months uh, the future contracts uh, for uh, the west texas intermediate that is the benchmark for the us crude prices fell more than 300% to negative prices because of oversupply it was becoming difficult to find space for the storage of oil and uh, each futures contract trades for a month and the may contracts uh, didn't want to take delivery of the oil and uh, incur storage cost and end up paying to take the oil off their hands and this is the lowest crude pri- oil price ever recorded the previous lowest was immediately after the world war second and brent crude uh, which is the brand be- benchmark uh, for uh, global oil prices uh, it also plummeted Brent crude uh, is less sensitive than uh, WTI prices to supply side shocks because it is priced in the middle of the North Sea where the sufficient tanker storage is accessible while WTI uh, oil storage in the US is limited as well as landlocked making transportation relatively more difficult so uh, this is the global scenario and a new deal uh, that is between Saudi Arabia and Russia to stabilize the market uh with other oil major oil producing uh, nations of opec plus to slash production was introduced and the member agreed to cut production by 9.7 million barrels a day in may and june uh, this is the deepest cut ever agreed uh, to by the world's oil producers after that uh, the group agreed to steadily increase uh production until the agreement expires in april 2022 so that is the st- status of uh, as of now uh we will see uh, in the coming uh, days uh, how it is going to affect the global economy however in our case the pr- petrol prices or the oil prices is steadily increasing uh but globally it is other way around happening so that is all about today guys uh, we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson